and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello hi, it's nice to meet you. Happy Black History Month. It, it's Black History Month. Yay! <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I absolutely adore Black History Month. It is my favourite time of the year. I love everything Black History Month stands for. I, I just love it. I love it so much. If you don't know that much about Black History Month, or you are just about to write a comment that is something along the lines of, um, that actually Black History Month is in February, get it right? I do actually have a video that is all about Black History Month, so if you want to find out more, consider giving that a watch to Black History Month. It's just iced tea. This is my last chance to really drink iced tea before it gets too cold. So for this year's Black History Month, I am going to be talking about black icons from British history. And to celebrate the fact that today is her birthday, who better than to start with than with Mary Prince? Mary Prince was one of the first black writers to publish a book in England. Prince was born into slavery in Bermuda around 1788. The exact dates of her death, as was the case with many slaves, aren't really known. She spent the first few years of her life being sold to different families and travelling around, until she was finally sold to John Woods and taken to Antigua. It was in Antigua that she joined the Moravian Church, where she learned how to write and read. While there, she met and ended up marrying a freed man named Daniel Jones. After finding out about the marriage, however, her master was <laughs> not happy and severely beat her. Eventually, John Woods moved his entire family to England, and they ended up taking Mary with them as their servant. Just remember she was a slave. She wasn't getting paid for this. <laughs> At that point, it was public belief in England that slavery was illegal. But <laughs> it was actually very much still legal. It was, however, illegal to take slaves out of England, so Mary was stuck in England unless she was freed by her master. After either escaping the home or just leaving after some arguments, Mary began working for Thomas Pringle, who was an abolitionist writer and the secretary of the Anti-Slavery Society. He tried to help Mary become a freed woman, and when it became obvious that that would be impossible, he hired her himself. Whilst working for Pringle, Mary ended up arranging for her story to be transcribed. The History of Mary Prince was published in 1831 and was the first account of a black woman's life published in Britain. The book was extremely influential, coming at a time when anti-slavery support was growing and it sold out of its first three printings. It did, however, spark two libel cases, one of which was John Woods, who sued claiming that the book damaged his character and reputation. He lost the case. We don't know much about the rest of Mary's life, unfortunately. We do know that she remained in England until at least 1833, as she had to testify in the libel cases that stemmed from her book. We don't know what happened to her after that year, though. If she was still alive, the Slavery Abolition Act came into effect in 1834, so Mary would have been free to return back to her husband and live her life as she wanted to. We don't know for sure, but I like to think that happened. Mary Prince's tale tells us just how important individual stories can be. The story of this incredible woman who, who overcame so many obstacles and was the reason that the tide turned on slavery in this country is, for lack of a better word, inspiring. Mary's is a story that I think everyone should know, so thank you for sticking around to hear it. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and hey, maybe a subscribe, that might be nice. I am going to do a whole series of videos just like these, so please stick around if you are into that. Thanks for watching. Bye.
I don't know how to pour drinks. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs>